Hey folks, this is Chris Crazy House, and I am back with a brand new sketch blog. The angry video game nerd gets femme busted, and what I'm going to be talking about is the popular YouTuber, the angry video game nerd. He has a web channel and a YouTube channel called Cinemassacre. Very well known online, but he basically all he did was say that he's not going to go see the new Ghostbusters movie, and he's gotten into a lot of hot water with a lot of social activists online. He's been attacked. People have written tons and tons of blogs about him and have really gotten on their soapbox about attacking this man and he really did not say anything wrong, just that he did not want to go see it and he gave a normal and nice reason why he's not going to go see it. it has nothing to do with what you might think that he's not seeing it for. But anyway, I'm going to do a quick ad and I'll be right back with the sketch blog. Hey everyone, this is Chris Crazy House, and I will be appearing at the State of Black Science Fiction Convention 2016. It will be in Atlanta, Georgia on the weekend of June 11th to June the 12th. It should be a really good time, so please come on out and join us, guys. I would really love to see you there. I will be selling a lot of my work, my comics, graphic novels, and artwork. And I will we'll be doing some panels. I'm sure there will be lots of good cosplay going to be a great time, so come and see us in Atlanta, June 11th, June the 12th. Peace. Hey folks, this is Chris Crazy House, and I'm back with a brand new sketch blog. You know, last week I saw something very interesting, and over the weekend it's kind of compiled and compiled, and it's kind of gotten out of hand, in my opinion, but what I saw was the, the YouTuber, the angry video game nerd, I can't remember, I think his name is James Rolfe or something. I can't remember what his real name is, but I know he's the angry video game nerd. I'm sure you've probably seen his videos, very popular on YouTube. His channel is Cinemassacre. I've always enjoyed some of his reviews of the old Nintendo games and his reviews of uh, all those old Godzilla movies as well. But apparently he did just a little short blog just saying that how he felt about the, the trailers and advertising for the new... Ghostbusters movie and how he wasn't going to go see it just basically saying he wasn't wasn't going to go see it wasn't going to review it whatever and apparently it set off a firestorm because people have just been going berserk over that that short little video and for the life of me I can't see why the only, the only reason I can see why is because he was or he is a popular YouTuber and just said that he wasn't going to go see the movie so maybe they think that because he's so popular, he's coloring the rest of the audience not to go see it. But, to be honest, the movie and the trailers have not gotten rave reviews to begin with. So, I don't, it's not just him. From what I understand, the trailers themselves have some of the lowest ratings on YouTube ever. So, but a lot of people have been writing articles and damning him and calling him a misogynist, even though... The fact that the cast was all women was something that he never brought up in his video. And what I found even more interesting was, you know, usually he, the angry video game nerd, is, is kind of a character. That's not his real personality. That's just a character he puts on for when he does his YouTube videos. In this video, he was actually being himself. He's just being a regular old guy. He wasn't trying to, he wasn't cursing profusely and uh, foaming at the mouth and saying this sucks and this get this crap out like he he has this whole shtick of what he'd rather do than play this game or what he'd rather do than watch this movie and like he goes in this litany of really disgusting things like how he'd like to eat eat buffalo crap or something like that just to rather than play this game again or rather than watch this movie but he didn't do any of that he didn't curse he didn't uh make any bad remarks really just saying that he he doesn't think that this movie lives up to the 1980s version, and he's not going to go watch it. He says, in his opinion, is 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 better just to go ahead instead of just complaining about the movie over and over again, than going to see it and giving it money. He's just not going to go see it and not going to talk about it anymore. So, I can actually respect that because he came at it from a rational point of view. I remember uh, there were these other YouTubers. I believe they're the armchair directors. Or, or one of them anyway, because there's two guys. But one of them said that he wasn't. He's, he felt the same way when they announced that Ben Affleck was going to be Batman in the new Batman vs Superman movie. He just said he wasn't going to go see it. He wasn't going to review it. 
It's just a decision that that the studio made that he disagreed with, so he just wasn't even going to bother. And I, like I said, I respect that. I'd rather someone just say, I'm not going to go see it, rather than complain and complain and crap on a movie, giving it more publicity, whether you realize it or not. Even if it's negative publicity, you're giving it publicity. And sometimes people will go see it just to see how bad it is. It's better just to go ahead and not talk about it and not bother reviewing it and just kind of leave it by the wayside and, and, not, and go on to things that you'd rather talk about. So I can respect that position. I, I wish more uh, nerds and fanboys online would kind of take that stance instead of just complaining about something over and over again. So, But even when you do that, apparently there's a backlash, and people are making this assumption that if you don't want to see this new Ghostbusters movie, that you must be a misogynist and you hate women, and you just can't stand to see uh, four strong, independent women in a movie. Now... I'll give you my reasons for not really not really even being excited to want to see this movie. Like I would go see it if I got like a free movie pass, which I do get sometimes to go see films, or if it's on Netflix or even if it was in a red box, I wouldn't mind renting it just to see how it is, right? But I wouldn't I don't feel it's not one of those things I'm gonna be like, oh I really need to see that I need to rush out to see it. Like I when I first saw the trailer, I wasn't really excited to see this movie. But the reasons I don't want to see it is not even for the female cast, because I remember when I saw the announcements of who was going to be in the cast, I thought, well, you know, that might actually be decent, you know, because I think those females are actually funny. They do have some good skit comedy online, and uh, Melissa McCarthy is very funny. I like her on Mike and Molly, and I've liked her in some of her SNL appearances and some of the movies that she's been in. Not all. Usually I don't like her in the movies where she's the lone star. I like her in doses, I'll say that. I think a lot of those women are very funny in doses and, and when they're in an ensemble cast. And I thought that's why it would work in this movie when they're in an ensemble cast. And it's not just depending on one of them to carry the movie. But when I saw the trailer, the one thing that bothered me and that when I said it, I, I posted this on my Facebook page. The thing I didn't like was, once again, in the Ghostbusters, the black character is not a scientist. They're just someone that wants a job and this one is even worse because at least before with Winston he applied for the job and showed that he was competent but this black woman just seems to be they're playing her to be just loud and obnoxious and you know she knows the streets and she works in the subway and she just wants to be a ghostbuster because she knows the streets and to me that just seems ridiculous and to me that's not very forward thinking of the filmmakers to, to do the same thing over again and even make it worse an even worse stereotype to make the black one very loud and obnoxious and maybe that was just the choice that's why they picked Leslie Jones but in my opinion there are there are other black female comedians that I would have rather have seen maybe in this type of role or just black women actors that can be funny and they could have been in this role yeah, there's plenty there's, there's a couple of them out there now I think that they should give them a chance like uh What's her name? Uh, I think her name is Jessica Williams. She was on The Daily Show for a while. She's actually very funny and very witty. But they probably wouldn't put her up there because, I'm just to be honest, she's more attractive than the, the other three cast members. So they really can't have a, a black woman in there that's kind of outshining some of the other cast members there. But, like I said, it, it's... Like I said, it's just kind of a shame, and for me, the, the third Ghostbusters movie was the Ghostbusters video game. That was the third Ghostbusters movie, in my opinion, and it, it turned out very well. You just, we just had to assume that the third Ghostbusters movie was interactive, and you were a part of it, and just kind of leave it at that. Have the original cast for the final time, and had a pretty fun story. We just had to be settled with that, and just not... Like I said, I'm not one of those people that's going to, is, is crapping on the movie per se, because I haven't seen it, obviously. I, I was not impressed by the trailers. And another thing I didn't like was some of the effects in the movie. Like, I I feel, not that the effects in the 80s were super great, but that, that movie in the 80s was, it was still kind of creepy and kind of scary. Like, if you were a kid, like I was a small kid at the time, and some of the images were very creepy and a little bit scary. They weren't. It wasn't as safe and neon bright and colorful as this new trailer. The new stuff kind of looks like 
I think someone compared it to Eddie Murphy's Haunted House or Haunted Mansion or whatever that Disney movie was. It's too safe and too innocuous. I thought it had been better if they had gone with that same creepy monster feel that you had in the 80s. That's what is one of the more endearing qualities of Ghostbusters. It, yes, it was a comedy, but they didn't pull any punches when it came to some of the gruesome and gross stuff. You know, they had these weird-looking weird, weird looking zombies and monsters and everything in the movie, and I thought that worked very well. In fact, I'm kind of working on a, a concept myself that has that those types of elements where it's still scary but funny and fun at the same time. I think people will appreciate that or would appreciate that. But, yeah, I mean, it's... To, to me, as I said, the movie just didn't look great. I wasn't excited about it. I'm not one of those people that... I enjoy Ghostbusters, the original. The, I like the first one and the second movie. I'm not one of those people that holds it so dear why I think that this new movie is destroying my childhood. Nothing's that severe or that... that uh, nothing's that serious, in my opinion. But I, I just wasn't excited by seeing this new trailer. And it, I guess it has nothing to do with them being women because at first, when I heard the cast and even when I saw the first production photos, I was like, well, you know, this might work. Might not be bad. But when I... And I was actually like... When I saw that the trailer was announced, I was like, okay, let's see what it looks like. And then, like, my enthusiasm went down as I'm watching the trailer. So I wasn't really happy with what I saw. And it's kind of a shame that the, I guess, the original cast members that are still alive are just going to be reduced to cameos. They're not actually playing themselves. The, or they're not playing their actual characters from the original Ghostbusters. They're just little cameos in the movie. Which is stupid, in my opinion. I think this would have worked better if it was... The original cast or whoever was left over passing the torch or training this, these new female Ghostbusters to kind of take the mantle on or bringing them in. I think that would have worked a lot better. I don't know why they didn't do that. But, you know, it, it's, it, the social discussion around the movie is what's kind of ruining it, in my opinion, because it can't just we can't just judge a movie on its merits anymore. It has to be all about the, I guess, the gender component. So... Let me know what you guys think. I, I do think it was very unfair for the attacks that the angry video game nerd has gotten. Because like I said, he was not even in character when he talked about this movie. It's a very sublime, very subdued video. Probably one of the most calm videos I've seen from him. He was very nice, in my opinion. And all he just said was just, I'm not going to go see it. So let me know what you guys think and leave your comments in the comment, sec comment section. Sorry about that. And hopefully you enjoy my picture here of... This is the my version of Winston, a futuristic Ghostbusters movie where Winston is the last Ghostbuster and he's in a post-apocalyptic hell world fighting ghosts and monsters and whatnot. Let me know what you guys think of Old Man Winston and please subscribe to this channel. Chris Crazy House signing out. Peace.